Very easy, gang. Or don't. Hey, you know who it is and you know what it is. It's your boy C Breezy. And today we got another informative video. We're gonna talk about where to take these females without spending money. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people really don't know. A lot of people really believe that you got to always break bread, put money on the table, take them out to some fancy restaurant just so they can be cool with you. Or some people's goal is to just smack cheeks. So let me tell y'all something, y'all you know saying? Let me spit a little, <laughs> a little shun shun, a little game, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. Let's go. All right, so first and foremost, you know what I mean? May not be a popular opinion, but a picnic. You know what I'm saying? Take it old school. You can easily just go to a park, set up your little picnic area, bring some good food. It ain't even gotta be top-notch food. It just needs to be, it just depends on the type of woman you're talking to, really. Cause some girls can be good with, a, with some PB&Js, real talk. You know what I'm saying? Some chips. Great quality time and conversation. You know what I'm saying? Just get to know the person. Even if it ain't for a boyfriend, girlfriend type relationship, just get to know the person just so they know who they dealing with so they can be comfortable and feel safe around you and vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Like just because it's a woman don't mean she can't hurt you physically. You know what I'm saying? You could be stronger than her, cool. You know what I'm saying? But if she evil, you ain't gotta be strong. You know what I'm saying? To get at somebody. If you evil, you evil, you know what I mean? So it's always good to get to know the person, get to know the female so you know who you're dealing with. Women, same thing, good quality time. So we're out the picnic, we're gonna go to number two, which is the park. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get to know somebody real well, good quality time, which is gonna be all of these. Um, take a walk in the park, go on a hike. You know what I'm saying? Do some adventures or something together. And just get to know each other that way. Um, you know what I'm saying? Everything don't always got to be going to the movies. Everything got to be going to some fancy restaurant or just going out, period, where you got to break bread. If you just want a good quality time out there, especially if she's an outdoors type girl, you want to go, go to the park, go on that two-mile concrete sidewalk uh you know what i'm saying walk on it talk do what you do <clears throat> again good quality time is really is all she's looking for everything else after that is just bonus it just depends on the girl number three we're gonna go ahead and talk about a car ride technically you ain't even gotta drive in the car because then you'll be spending money on gas but if you just want to get in the car, y'all can literally just chill in the car and just talk, have good conversation, you know what I mean? And just let it go from there. Everything ain't always got to be sexual, you know what I mean? Some people think of a car as like, oh, if we're in the car, then his intentions and stuff just want to smash. No, nah. maybe I just don't want to take you to my crib or take you anywhere else that we could just literally chill in the car and just have a good conversation. Tell me about how your day is. Tell me how you are as a person, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just texting all the time, we're losing that human interaction. You know what I mean? Most people, they just want to text. They don't want to pick up the, the phone and call somebody. They'd rather just text. You can't really get to know somebody through text. Text is cool just for short term, but once you try to get in depth with somebody, it's time to start FaceTime. It's, it's time to start calling. It's time to start meeting up because now you have more interest than just texting each other. So it would be great to meet up. So again, like I said, chilling in the car, just driving through the city is a good way for a good conversation, good quality time. Number four, you know what I mean? Uh, your local apartment gym. What's up? Does she love to work out? Y'all work out together. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong. You ain't gotta take her to Gold's Gym. You know what I mean? Just in case you miss your monthly payment, 
and you know good and well they're going to get on your head because you ain't paying nothing, go to your apartment gym. Tell her, hey, just swing by real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let's go work out, but no, no, let's just go to the gym real quick at my, at my apartment. Come on, come on. Or her apartment. It really don't matter, really. Just as long as it's free, right? Because that's the goal. That's the topic we're talking about. And go from there. The apartment gym, we all know, it just has the basic necessities. They ain't got everything fancy like Gold's Gym, Planet Fitness, or any other gym out there. But it's going to get the job done because the whole point is to even is to just talk to her anyway. So do your basic workout. Get to talking. There you go. Good quality time. Therefore, if things don't work out, you did not lose money. She did not lose money. Y'all both equally just wasted time, I guess, because you found out that you're not even compatible when you met up and talked. But it's okay. It's okay. Now, the last but not least, good spot to take your woman, you know what I'm saying, is the crib. negative connotations probably just went through your mind right now because I said in the crib. Now we all know a lot of people always say Netflix and chill, right? It's not always about that. It's not always about literally just popping on Netflix and <laughs> no, 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 we get to it. It ain't about that. For real, for real, you come to the crib, some men are genuine and you literally just talk. Ain't nothing wrong with some wine, some raw moon drinks, some juice. Just pop up on the couch and just good quality conversation. Watch some a few movies on Netflix if you got Netflix. And then after the movies or in between the movies, get to talking. You know what I'm saying? Things don't work out. It's cool. You already in your own crib, so she got to leave. You got to think smart, fellas. Think smart. Come on now. If it don't work out, she got to leave. She ain't going to want to stay there no way if it don't work out. So come on now. Then the five ways to save money on a date, okay? And I'm letting you guys know this because just from experience, man, I took a girl out one time to go eat, right? We had a good combo, whatever. It's all right. But once we got to the point where it was about hobbies, man, she was so the complete opposite of me in a bad way. Not even in a way where I can like compromise. It just, it just wasn't good. And just her mindset on the way she thought about a lot of topics I found serious. It, it just, we weren't lining up. You feel me? So, and not only that. She even told me to my face, y'all, that she only came on this date for one, to meet me, to see how I am as a person, but two, because she was hungry and used me as a free meal, knowing I was going to pay for it because I offered. Ever since that day, ladies and gentlemen, I ain't never took no girl on no date when it comes to food, you feel me? I learned my lessons and I take it as that, you know what I mean? If I if you see me in public with a girl on a date, just know, first of all, it's not no date. Second of all, just know I know that girl. I know this woman. This ain't no trying to get to know you type thing. That scarred me mentally, man. And I just don't want a lot of people to go through that situation i'm pretty sure some people have been through worse but to me that was really bad and that's why i'm putting video informative videos out so therefore y'all understand and take the information in and be aware that there are people out there that are messed up like that like that woman so hopefully if y'all still here man i appreciate you thank you Please like, comment, and subscribe. You already know what to do. It's your boy C Greasy. And come on now. I'll catch you on the next informative video. Peace out with the cut.
that's not in no gangster way either, because I don't gang bang. Stop playing with it. I know some people do it like they never come home. They never see the light and they never see the sun grow. Some people have it good, some people live in life poor. But don't get mad at me, cause this is all that I know. I know some people do it like they never come home. They never see the light and they never see the sun grow.